later. Cloth here. I guess I'll get rendered smoother later. Um, right now, I'm just locking it in, trying to get the parts and pieces in place. Uh, it's one of those uh, photo bashers. This is exactly where I would uh, drop in like a photo of some lace or some crap. Yeah, it seems like those guys get so much work because they can do this really quick and charge less for it, but I just, I really like painting, and it takes so much longer, guys, it's insane, a little jealous, but what are you going to do, it's stuff you hate doing, see, like, all these, all these kind of dresses I'm finding, though, like, the problem is, this is kind of, like, Victorian, however, the uh, the Bram Stoker story takes place much earlier, or a few decades earlier than that. So it's like eighteen, I thought it was like eighteen sixties or something. So like fashion changed a lot given given the who was the monarch in the UK during the eighteen fifties. Uh, oh dang, that was Queen Victoria. Okay. From King of Vine. So she's Queen of the United Kingdom from June 37th until 1837 until 1901. Just these like layers of cloth. No wonder which. <laughs> no wonder. Rich women only could afford these. It just takes so much fabric, and you know, all this crap was like hand tailored seamstresses and assistants. And I don't think Iraq even existed for them to pull things off of. They didn't invent racks then, it's just concept was new to them. <laughs> I was thinking and planning. I wonder it takes me forever to do paintings. Something I really want to work at, just like getting faster at um, just getting things done. that wasn't visible on the outside, they very definitely wore them, cinched that thing in tiny. All the sacrifices you make for fashion. I don't think this was too far removed or from like the uh, wearing arsenic as a as a makeup either, so Damn, they were really suffering. Hey, Ted, man. <laughs> uh, I believe it's one way, sorry. It's not like um, a Hangout or Discord. Do you ever watch things on Twitch? I know it's mostly for gamers, but I figure, you know, it's a decent platform and could use a little variety, right? Plus, I need the accountability of, uh... <laughs> yes, I'm your Bob Ross. Just draw a happy little bodice here. 
<laughs> just like Bob Ross. I, uh, settled here in Indiana, by the way. Got my own place at last, and I've got, like, my workspace set up, so I can focus on doing our work a little better. Giant monsters. That sounds fun. Okay. Yeah, I'm also trying, trying to improve my presence with uh, streaming and whatnot. So it's it's kind of learning to build myself up and um, become a bit more of like a host. Like having a vocal narration running of my thoughts is kind of new to me as well. So it's something I'm still trying out. Let me know if it comes off too awkward. Thank you. Yeah, I was kind of going for like a pulpy horror um, take on Dracula. This was uh, for a class that um, I'm way behind on. I think it's actually kind of over <laughs> by this point, but I'm deep enough and I like how this is coming enough that I wanted to finish it up. Throw that in my portfolio, you know. Portfolio need some fresh things. So I've got my day job, and I'm just trying to think of different ways to like build up my art stuff as well. Maybe I can get some more work that way too. It seems like for this era, they, they didn't do as much like fancy stitching and ornaments, but kind of relied more on layering and the uh, pattern of the fabric, from what I can tell. God, I'm so getting lost in the weeds. It's, uh, <laughs> it can be a problem for me. Um, let's see. Adding like a, a little drape of cloth across the bust here. I feel like they did that a lot. So actually, uh, based on my parents' suggestion, I uh, kind of based Dracula on uh, James Cagney, although I need to like go back in and kind of nudge it closer to that. I was doing too many adjustments and his nose is all effed up. I don't know if you uh familiar with him, but he was like uh, one of those golden age um, of film actors. Uh, often played like this, the gangster, so he was like always a villain. right time period of what I'm going for. I feel like the the later Victorian kind of era gets a lot of attention and um, representation, especially like steampunk kind of stuff, but this is hitting more um, a little earlier than that by a few decades. So there's, there's some distinct differences that I wanted to make sure were kind of represented because I'm going for something that's a little more of the period of when Bram Stoker wrote Dracula. Uh, and maybe most people won't give a shit, but <laughs> I feel like it, it gives me parameters to work under. Let's see. As it turns towards the light, more of these planes are going to catch that. 
How's that looking? All the stress is coming together. All right. I don't want to work on a different sector. Pull out my reference again. It's like, even though James Cagney's face is like a little broad to have that kind of aristocratic feel, like there are a lot of qualities to his face that I like. He's, he's like deep furrowed brows and um, like deep shadows in his eye sockets like this like I could see him I, I could see a lot of this working well for like a Dracula oh man look how intense that is I need to bring my drawing closer to this because it started that way but um I kind of lost it as I was doing it. Yeah, there's so many great like high-tech tool toys now that like teach you STEM skills and whatnot. I think it's a good thing. I feel like I feel like as our society progresses, like these tech skills are going to be more and more just like bog standard. Calculations. Oh, I want to flip you. How do I do that again? There we go. The lighting might not work out to have these deep eye shadows that he has here, but I love them so much. I really want to keep them. So maybe I'll just like break the rules on lighting a little bit. What an interesting face James Cagney has. Like, I know he was like rarely the leading man, but I don't know. I think he could have pulled it off. down. I kind of want to give him like the smudgier, darker, like, like goth makeup kind of. There we go. Oh yeah. That's looking good. The grim photo is nice. Oh, this one on the right? Yeah, he's kind of like, who, me? <laughs> <laughs> His face is so, like, built for scowling that it's kind of hard to... <laughs> it's like, it hits that weird spot, like, where you're not quite sure how to interpret his... And 
this is too bright. Yeah, like, I've seen artists that can just really knock things out, like... <laughs> like, three to four hours, that's enough for a fully rendered painting, but, like, I just keep getting stuck on, like, is this balance right? Like, is too much tension being drawn here? Like, oh, there's another tangent, and just end up playing whack-a-mole for fucking hours on end. I just want to do a good job. Okay, there we go. So I've made my selection here. I'm just going to use um, image editing to kind of try and bump the contrast on that so it has a little more <clears throat> uh, intensity on the hierarchy because uh, I want this to be more the point of focus. Let's go to my curves here. Nope. Kind of, for some reason, I feel like Photoshop kind of inverted the curve. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I feel like she's still drawing a lot of attention just because there are a lot more darks on her. Um. So I think I might need to kind of drop her contrast back a bit and bump it up more on him. So plus there's going to be text over like the lower half of her, so I don't want too much contrast interfering with that either. Let's see, what was this character? I think she was supposed to be Wilhelmina. Uh, this isn't like a scene exactly from the book, um, but it just kind of felt interesting having those dichotomies of like religious symbols and Dracula just kind of like invading. Curves is my favorite adjustment. I'm darkening up like the shadow side of her like some of this detail is becoming less prominent so it feels less important which is kind of okay by me yeah I'm like that yeah made some good progress here uh, so when I next come to this, I want to kind of render this uh, architecture a little bit. I uh, don't want to overdo it, but we need to tweak some things. Some things are a little out of perspective alignment and figure out what the hell I'm going to do with this fire. Because like, I want the fire there to have that sense of threat and to provide that light source, but I don't want it to be too intense either. So I just kind of have to figure a way to modify it. But yeah, I'll figure it out. Anyway, yep, thanks for joining my stream. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll, I'll post again. Thinking about coming up with a regular schedule as well, so predictably I'm going to be on here. That keeps me, keeps me honest, you know. Alright, ciao everyone. Good night.